welcome to my channel. My name is Missy and today I'm going to be talking about my mural wall that I painted in baby room for baby number two. I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant so this baby's coming soon and I wanted to do this a really long time ago but I just had horrific morning sickness and then uh, we had tons of family coming and going and it was just the fall was nuts so I didn't get to it till literally the very last minute but that's okay this is in no way shape or form a nursery tour it is just all about the wall and kind of how i did it as you can see there's a box of diapers in the crib and there's no mattress in there i honestly don't think we're going to get this nursery completed till like after the baby's born so i'll do a video some other time on that but with the mural wall i cannot take credit for this whatsoever it's actually a facebook page that one of my girlfriends had sent me it feels like almost a year ago. It was definitely six plus months ago and it's from Ava Mae Schumann. She did this for her little girl's room and instead of painting the walls a sand color which you can just barely see over here which is what I did, she did hers pink because she had a little girl and hers is decorated in the picture and looks so sweet and adorable. If you're new to my channel I don't know if I'm having a little boy or a girl. That's another reason why I'm not fully doing out the nursery yet so we're just going to kind of wait and see but I wanted the walls to be kind of neutral so I picked a sand color. All the paint we got was from Sherman Williams. I will link below all the colors that I used. I used four on the wall and then just one color on or four on the mural wall and then I just used one color in the rest of the room that sand neutral color. So as you can see the lines didn't come up too well at all when I was filming but I made I took the dimensions of my wall from the molding to the ceiling. I don't know if you can hear Paul screaming in the background. He's watching TV in my room. I took that and divided it by four so that I could get four equal segments. I just did it on my calculator. And then I took a very sophisticated yardstick that I got from Lowe's and I just went ahead and measured those horizontal lines to make sure that they were straight basically. You could just wing it too but I just wanted them to be straight because I knew if they weren't I would see it. So I did that. You could absolutely use a level. I just always marked about two or three points and then just connected them and drew all the way across. We did not have it at the time but now we have it. I don't know the name of it but Matt got some kind of little doohickey thing that does like a level laser line and then I could have just drawn across it but we didn't have that at the time so it wasn't a big deal it didn't take too too much time and then I was trying to figure out how to do the waves and if I looked at her post um, who originally did the mural I think she just freehanded it but I wanted mine to be a little more what's what I'm thinking about I mean they're not they don't look classically like waves they're just a little more I'm pregnant I can't think of the word symmetrical is that what I'm thinking? Maybe. <laughs> so what I did is I found a pizza pan downstairs that was 13 inches across. So I was originally going to take the pizza pan and go across the wall just sketching half of the pizza pan. And then I was just like, well, how am I going to do where I meet the wall? Because it wasn't a perfect 13 inches circles going across. There was going to be a half or a partial circle. So then it just dawned on me to use a filing folder. So this is just, you know, the regular rectangle file folder that you have. And I just laid my pizza pan on half of it and cut it and then opened it. It's not, it's too big to be a full circle, but that's okay. I was only really using half of it. And I would trace half of this, you know, the half semicircle all along the wall. And that line that I drew, I lined up the bottom of my circle too. So I was doing my waves above the line if that makes sense and then when I got into the corner I could then fold this in half and kind of draw half or even fold it a little bit more there was one of the lines that was a little shy of half of a circle so this is what I used to actually make the way the wave pattern I thought I would share that so in doing the waves above the line you will notice that the very top top wave is a little higher and the wave on the bottom is a little bit taller that makes sense. So the very top section is a smidge smaller because I did the wave pattern above the line versus like in the middle of the line. Fine by me, I don't really care. But if that bothers you, you could always, you know, move it around. And then you saw me paint detail work. 
I was using, again, at Sherwin Williams, this is where I just bought my supplies. I am not a painter's tape person. I did make matte painter's tape the bottom um, of the mural where the molding was because it is easier. I don't use painter's tape because I am not good at it. <laughs> Whenever I use it, it bleeds. I just get frustrated, especially with long straight things, like I can never get it to line up. So I just always go for these like chisel brushes. This one that I used was from Purdy, P-U-R-D-Y. It, again, uh, there's just something I picked up at Sherman Williams. I've gotten these at Lowe's before. The one I actually like is the chisel brush that doesn't have a long handle. It has like a stubby handle because I usually hold mine on like the metal part when I paint. And I just kind of dip in the little tray and then just go slow. That's the only advice I can give you is just I go slow and I go all the way around all the molding and stuff and then I don't have to use tape. So that's just a personal preference, but you can absolutely use tape and then do whatever you want. The top two colors were really, really light. I just painted them with this and had no problem. The third color, I didn't film it, but I painted all of it and it looks really good. And then when my husband got home, I looked at it and was like, that needs a second coat. So I was going to do it the next day, but my husband was super nice. And after dinner, he went in with the brush and did a second coat. So then when I did the bottom, which is the darkest color, I did it with the chisel brush. I filled everything in. I, as soon as I got to the end, I knew it needed a second coat. So we already had a little roller in here. So I just went over it with a roller. So I did do two coats on the two darker colors. The two lighter colors up the top, I just did one coat and it looks totally fine. So this was such a fun project. This room is going to be, obviously, I haven't fully decided. It's gonna be kind of like ocean themed, not nautical, but just ocean themed. My other son's room is mountain themed. So I figure I'll wait till we find out if it's a girl and a boy and I can kind of, you know, take it different directions if it's gonna be more of like shark themed or mermaid themed. I'm not too on the over gendering things. So it probably would just be, you know, beach themed, but I do need to get a couple other things. I want to get for sure blackout shades, blackout curtains, the same thing I have in my son's room. I seem to have really good luck finding those at jcpenny.com of all things, so I need to shop in there for that. There was beach decor in here already because this room was a guest room and it was beach themed. We go to the Outer Banks before pandemic, we went every single year, and I would just collect things to decorate. So I do have quite a bit of decorations already. I did get some cool, probably not saying the right word, face plates for outlets and the switch from Amazon. And they are just kind of white and they kind of remind me of like, almost like shiplap. I'll show a picture right here. And I bought those. Those aren't supposed to be here till Thursday. It's Tuesday right now. So as soon as those come, we can put those up. And I also wanted to get some beach themed little knobs for the pole fans. I usually just find those on Amazon. I have some in my son's room. I have a little bear and a pine cone for his woodland themed. And he loved to look at those when he was a baby too. So I wanna get those. And then I think I'm just gonna hold off on everything else. I need to get a mattress that's coming Friday. And I need to get some crib sheets because all my crib sheets are mountain themed and dinosaur themed. And I thought it'd be really cute and an inexpensive thing considering we didn't really buy a lot for this nursery. Anyway, that's really getting into more of a tour anyway. The mural is done, I'm so happy. My stress instantly went down because now I can bring stuff in here and start nesting. That is the game plan. But like I said, I will list all the supplies I used below, everything I could possibly think of. If there's something you saw me use and I didn't list it below, just let me know and I'll tell you what it is. The mural is done. So thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you'd subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you next time. Bye.